Hello everybody and welcome back. This is David from Crazy Collectors and today we're going to be doing another uh, Steelbook movie reveal and review. Now today as you can see it is Star Wars The Last Jedi and it did come out earlier this week. I think it was on the 27th so I think it was on Tuesday of this week so a couple days behind but um, well worth it to wait. I actually was able to build up points over at Best Buy so got it for nothing. I am actually very happy with that because this movie was not the best. I'm not too happy with what happened in the movie. Um, now, gonna go ahead and forewarn everybody. There's always gonna be spoilers in these, so be prepared if you haven't seen it yet. Um, just go ahead and stop, you know, watch the movie and then come back if you want or uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so... This movie, in my opinion, has ruined the franchise as a whole for me. Um, now, episode seven, I thought was very bad, but this took the cake. I don't, I didn't think that they could go any worse. I really didn't, especially with a new director. Didn't make any sense to me. Now, there are some aspects of the movie that I thought were pretty cool, and you know, they were really nostalgic to the original trilogy. Um, but I don't think it was enough to actually make it so that it was a good movie. Like, Luke, I don't know what was going on. He he went from being this super awesome, you know, hero to being a coward that wanted to kill one of his students in his sleep. Um, and then he didn't even come to his last fight. He, he uh, what was it, astro, astro projected or however you want to say that. And... Um, just kind of evaded the whole time, and then right after that, he dies. I don't understand that. He should not have died in this movie at all. Uh, the way that they made it go down, um, I understand why Mark Hamill was like, hey, you know, screw this movie, screw you guys, this is not my Luke, I don't know what's going on, and uh, yeah, it just it didn't make sense to me. Now, there was also another part of the movie where Princess Leia, or General Leia, uh, now, um, she could have actually been killed off in the movie at several points in time, but she came back. And I don't like what they did, you know. Carrie Fisher was awesome, you know. My family and I, we met her. She was a really amazing lady. And I just wish that they would have, you know, kind of sent her off in this movie because of what happened, you know. And it just, it didn't give her that justice, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't do it for us, you know what I mean? Even my daughters were like, when we went to go see the movie in theaters, they were just dumbfounded on how terrible this movie was. Um, there, there's some pretty cool little tricks in there, as I said, but it's not enough to make it that, that 9 or 10, you know what I mean? I, I'd give this movie definitely about a 2 or a 3, and I only give it that high because of the little things in between that were okay. Um, but yeah, as you can, as you know, in episode seven, Han was, uh, killed off. This time, Luke was killed off. Uh, they just, they did them both dirty. I don't like what the new trilogy is doing to our beloved characters, you know. It's just, it's really just destroying Star Wars for me. Um, but yeah, so outside of that, watch it, don't watch it. It's, it, you know, it's, it's up to y'all if you want to, if you want to do that or not, but for me... I'm a Star Wars fan. I have watched every single Star Wars in theaters, um, even when they came out with the 3D release of Episode One. So I'm going to continue to see them all in theaters. Uh, so that's that's something that I'm not going to get over. I'm not going to stop that now. Even with my kids, we've seen every one of them in theaters um, together. Well, ever since they've been around. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to continue to do that. I have every steel book for the movie so far. Uh, so we're going to continue to do it anyways. And yeah, you know it is what it is. So, but let's go ahead and check this thing out. I think the, I think the cover is actually really cool. Now, um, on here you can see Luke. You see Ray, Rose in the back over there. There's Finn. That's that was just weird what happened there. I I could have swore he was all about her, but then she comes into the picture and then steals him. And I I don't know. It's just it's stupid. <laughs> it's really just terrible. Uh, then you got Chewie back there with 
BB-8. You know, you got some Porgs down there. I don't know if you can see that right there, but um, then there's Poe, C-3PO, R2, and uh, Leia. Now, this is a really cool looking steel book. You know, the cover is really nice. Um, I really wish he would have died off in the movie. There was plenty of times where he could have died off, but they didn't kill him. Wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. The same thing with Poe. I don't really care for Poe. Everyone's like, he's the new Han Solo, but I don't care for him at all. Uh, he could die off in the movie too, and I'd be completely happy. Um, Rey, I don't understand how she's just extremely powerful all of a sudden, but, you know, it's, it's Hollywood, I guess. They're gonna, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. <laughs> But yeah, you can see the X-Wings, the Millennium Falcon. So it's really cool. This is embossed right there, so you can kind of you can see that right there. It's really cool looking. Wish uh, that could have been Han right there, you know, and then maybe, um, I don't know, put Snoke. Put Snoke in here somewhere, you know. Snoke got killed off so fast that we didn't even know what happened. We didn't know who he was. So I really think he's Ezra from the Rebels, though, the Star Wars Rebels show. It'd be really cool if that was the case, but... But yeah, so you can see the spine right there. Star Wars The Last Jedi. On the back... Oh my god, see, and on the back too. I really want Kylo to die. I know people like Kylo. He just whines too much. I understand he's a Sith, you know, he just in, he's in tune with the motions and all that. And Yeah, he was a kid when all this stuff happened. But still, come on. Get over it. You know, it just... Uh, I can't stand it. I, I hate the portrayal of... Well, okay, technically he's not a Sith. I, I take that back. He's not a Sith. Um, he's just like, a, I'd say, a dark Jedi. You know, just one that hasn't converted truly. But just, oh, man, he's so annoying. I can't stand that kid. Um, but then there's Captain Phasma up there. I don't know. Once again, like, everything went wrong in this movie. They built up these characters to be something awesome, and then they did nothing with them. It doesn't make any sense to me. But, um... The Praetorian Guards right there, those are actually pretty cool. I don't understand their uh, their armor. Their armor is like made out of lightsaber crystal or something. I don't know, but um, it just, it was weird. You know, they, they use their arms to block a lightsaber. So that was, that was interesting. Um, but yeah, no, back to Phasma. You know, she, she died for real, I guess, this time. And um, it just, they, she was done dirty. I really think that Finn should have died and she should have got away to continue another day you know what i mean it just it, it didn't make any sense to me but yeah so that's what it looks like it's pretty cool looking i'll, I'll give it that it's 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 all right you know it, it's it's something but uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, look on the inside now this is the 4k version of the movie so you do have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray right there go ahead and take that one out Put that off on the side right there. Then you also have the Blu-ray standard, uh, the standard copy of it. And let's go ahead and take that one out. And put that right there. And then you have the bonus feature disc. So this one is also Blu-ray, so there is no DVD in here, period. Um, it's just HD, um, the 4K Blu-ray, uh, and then the standard Blu-ray, and then the bonus disc. Let's take this one out and see the back. So that's a pretty cool little uh, a scene there. Now this was towards the end of the movie with the uh, last battle between Kylo and Luke. Well, pfft, if you even want to call it a battle. It's more of like a hologram, uh, a hologram simulation type thing. I don't know, it's just uh, so terrible. But um, this little planet is actually really cool though because this is where the last stand was, you know, the, the last base... Um, and then they have these really cool little fox creatures. They're like little salt or crystal. I don't know exactly, but they're so awesome. And there's a pop coming out for them. I really want to get it. If none of the pops out of the, uh, the actual set, um, I just want to get that. You know, I, I don't really care about any of the other ones. I know it's not going to be flocked because they're like a salt or a crystal animal. So it's really hard to make that flocked. But, uh... Yeah, no, that was that was really cool. That's and that's why I'm gonna give it a little bit higher of a, of a rating than I really want to, only because of that. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be enough for other people, but the little salt fox creature things—they're really cool looking. But yeah, so that is the 4K Ultra HD right there, the Blu-ray standard. So 
Pretty cool little steelbook. Really wish that there was something different going on, but uh, you know, it is what it is. But I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, definitely check it out if you are a fan, because you know, it's still, it's, it's a good watch, I guess, just to kind of see what's going on, you know, continue your Star Wars viewing experience. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.